Star of Providence is a debut release by Team D13 and it's a twin-stick shooter roguelike that's sure to appeal to fans of titles such as Enter the Gungeon, Nuclear Throne and The Binding of Isaac, just to name a few of its top tier peers. Initially released in 2017 and under the name of Monolith, it's a relentless, adrenaline fueled non-stop action joyride through procedurally generated levels, with over 2,000 layouts, 120 different enemy types, as well as 50 unique modifiers and 13 types of weapon, which do all feel and act very different. While the gameplay remains as a dungeon crawler twin stick shooter, there really is so much variety here and like with all the top games of its type, it really is just so satisfying to play. You'll find combat in most rooms, broken up by the occasional treat to make yourself stronger and that combat is just so fluid, requiring quick reflexes and precise actions while also just being brilliant to take part in. You move around with the left stick while aiming with the right and then there's a button that allows you to do a quick dodge and a button to use up a bomb for either a screen clearing blast or to reveal some secret rooms. It's simple enough in that respect that I find it quite comforting sometimes to just load it up and go through a run or two even if my brain's so tired that I can't necessarily be bothered engaging with more mechanically complex games. But that's not to say that it can't be complex. The boss fights often do ramp up into a bit of bullet hell and you yourself even have limited ammo on the special weapons you find, meaning that you can't just spam your shoot button all of the time. I do believe that the game is now finished and in its final state, but since release it's had a lot of updates, including a full expansion pack which is now just included with the base game. A single playthrough will take approximately 30 minutes or so, but there really is so much replay value beyond that between all the different and sometimes optional areas, the variety in rooms, weapons, perks, and also the fact that even upon each completion its room configurations just become that little bit harder than they previously were. One of the joys of these roguelike type games is that sometimes you can have a lot of fun by getting really lucky and become Becoming incredibly overpowered. And then likewise you can have fun by having an unlucky run with a really bad loadout. But Star of Providence seems to do a great job of always having things be pretty balanced. To keep that balance while also continuing to give variety and be fun is really pretty cool. You always feel happy when you do something well and not just as though you got lucky with your loadout. I've always been a massive fan of the genre and if we were to analyse things I think that's because ultimately their constant action and variety keeps me constantly engaged and Star of Providence really does a perfect job of that. Even the wonderfully done retro soundtrack, which to be honest gives me slight kind of Metroid vibes, does a great job of just making my brain feel good. I love it. For me, it's definitely up there as a proper top tier twin stick roguelike and you could do a lot worse than to seek it out and give it a go. Star of Providence may currently only be available on Steam for the price of £12.79 but it really would be ideal for PlayStation or Switch if they ever have the chance to port it over. Honestly I'd like it so much that I'd probably buy it again just to play it on them and that tells you exactly how I feel about this game. I'm excited to see what the devs might be up to next but for now just check Star of Providence out. Cheerio! Of course, as you would expect, you move around with the left stick while aiming with the right and then there's a button that allows you to do a quick dodge and a button to use a bomb for either a screen... Uh, I always struggle saving screen kill and blast. A minute, let's go again. You move around with the left stick while aiming with the right and of course you also have a quick dodge and also a button to use up a bomb for either a screen clearing blast. Oh, I can't say that. But Star of Providence seems to be... Do, uh,